Rotary International changes its leadership from our international president to our district governor to our club president. Every year, our incoming international president chooses a theme for his and possibly in the future her year. It is interesting that the theme of 2019 2020 was Rotary Connects the World. And the theme for our next year, 2020 2021, is Rotary Opens Doors, excuse me, Opens Opportunities. Since they both provide a compelling perspective as we use technology, internet technology, and virtual meetings to connect with one another and use this technology to open new opportunities to do good in this world. To provide service above self, which is why we joined Rotary in the first place. I now introduce George Chapman, the president of the Rotary Club of Brookline 2019-2020. George? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Arnie. Uh, for not just those kind words, but really for your role as master of ceremonies and master of so much that benefits our club in so many ways. As the current Rotary year draws to a close, we look around at all that is new and uncomfortable and uncertain and different and exclaim, oh, it's been quite a year. Actually, the first seven months of the year uh, were pretty normal for our club. Uh, we have our, our sort of annual routine. Uh, we had a little bit that was different uh, or new in some way, uh, most notably our new members. And then COVID-19 hit. Gradually at first, then with increasing rapidity and relentless totality, what had been familiar and comfortable and secure and certain in our lives and relationships all but disappeared. And yet, and yet, we, we created bright spots. We found ways to continue meeting together and even bring in members who are out of town. We employed our great resources of people and goodwill, of money, of a heart for service. And we did good. We gave $7,000 to the Brookline Food Pantry, to the Brookline Safety Net, which helps with other expenses. We donated $3,000. We did good. But the pandemic roils on the financial needs mount, injustice rolls, there is plenty of good left to be done. And so I leave you with this. Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things and you will have peace. In the midst of the pandemic, the financial challenges, the social upheaval that lies at our doorstep and spreads around the world, there are people and situations, developments and opportunities they're out there that are honorable, that are pure, that are praiseworthy. You may have to look hard through the, the crowd of discontent and anger, through the smoke of bitterness and disappointment and pain but they're there. 
honorable, pure, commendable. Look for them, recognize them, hold them, and peace will be with you. Live the four-way test. Live the four-way test. It will keep you on the right path. Others will notice and be reassured and you will be a blessing. Keep the faith. The faith of Rotary, the faith of Rotary and its principles and values, you and we and all the world needs this now more than ever. Keep the faith, spread it gently, and walk together, children. And bef before I surrender the gavel uh, to Steve, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank and to recognize the officers and board members with whom I have had the pleasure and the honor and the joy of working together this past year. Laura Allen, I thank you. Elias Audi, I thank you. Marina Brodskaya, I thank you. Ken Goldstein, I thank you. Joyce Graff, I thank you. Elvin Henderson, I thank you. Sharon Herman, thank you. Karen Jacobs, thank you. Paula Kerwin, thank you. Gloria Rudish, I thank you. Richard Sagan, I thank you. Hadley Weinberg, thank you. I'd also like to thank someone who's neither officer nor board member, and that's Susan Rack. Uh, Susan uh, appointed herself as my consigliere, and uh, I have benefited uh, from this boon and blessing that uh, she has, has offered uh, for all the year. And Susan, I thank you. Uh, now, instead of handing an individual item. I do actually have uh, gift recognition, but instead of handing individual items to individual people now or in the future, I took the money and I rolled it together and I made a donation with thanks to the Brookline chapter of Black Lives Matter. And I'm done. Thank you, George. That was wonderful. Arnie? Thank you, Joyce. And thank you, George, for that uh, inspiring uh, message to us uh, about your year and about the future of Rotary and the Club of Brookline Rotary. I will now have the honor and privilege of installing our new president, Steve von Lichtenberg. Steve? Uh, I'm unmuted. Are you unmuted? No, you're unmuted. You're on. Okay. Uh, Steve, I am now going to give you the oath of office. I, state I'm your name. Steve von Lichtenberg. As president of the Rotary Club of Brookline, Massachusetts, as president of the Rotary Club of Brookline, Massachusetts. For the year 2020-2021. For the year 2020-2021. Will, to the best of my ability. Will, to the best of my ability. Administer the duties of office of president. Administer the duties of office of president. In a business-like manner. In a business-like manner. And in, and in accordance 
with the club's constitution and bylaws. And in accordance with the club's constitution and bylaws. I hereby, I can hereby say, President Stephen von Lichtenberg, have a wonderful year. Thank you. Steve, here you go. Got it? I got it. How come it's not showing up? There you go. <laughs> it's not it's not human, so the the calculation is uh, ruling oh. it out. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Just hold it in front of yourself. It's okay. Okay. So uh, now is uh, my first, uh, oh, Arnie, you're supposed to do the installation of the incoming officers and directors, right? Right. Thank you, Mr. President. To all the incoming officers and direct, uh, directors, uh, we won't be able to hear, maybe hear all your voices, but say, uh, I state your name, do accept and understand the charges of the office to which I am elected and will work with diligence for the betterment of the club of Brookline, Massachusetts. Everyone who takes this oath should raise their hand in the gallery. and say yes. Yes. So now uh, I ask uh, President von Lichtenberg to um, provide a gift and pass president's pin to pass President George Chapman. George, I want to say on behalf of the club that in your long life of service your service to the Rotary Club was excellent and undiminished and uh, great leadership in a time of, of tribulation. And thank you. We don't have a past president's pin yet, but it's on its way. But okay. I do have a gift for you, which is this lovely clock that has the rotary emblem here. Uh, it doesn't show well. Put it in front of your face. Uh, George Chapman, Club President 2019-2020, Rotary Club of Brookline, Mass. And it can go on your desk and remind you that you uh, have suffered and had joy <laughs> with the Rotary Club of Brookline. Thank you so much. That is good timing. Ticket, 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 good timing. Taka, 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 timing. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, Thank you. It's, so we got the gavel, and now it's time. Uh, my, give your address. But before I address people, I, I want um, Iggy. Schwartzberg to know that I have a sergeant at arms pin for him that I will get to him one way or the other. Um, and Laura Walters, that I have a director's pin for her. And Iggy also gets a director's pin. And um, what's this last one? Elias, I have a president elect pin for you to go in your collection with the other one. <laughs> so, uh, so I have these things and I will make sure everybody gets them. George, we'll have to talk about how to get you the clock. <laughs> and um, that, uh, I, I want to make sure everybody knows these things are, are here and they're coming in the mail or 
by hand delivery or something within the next week or so. So, Steve, is this a good moment to um, to uh, just let people know that Michelle and Ariadne are online? Oh, I wanted to acknowledge some people who are here. My sister Paula, who came and went. My wife, Michelle David, who uh, is 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 here, and uh, who's presence I greatly appreciate. My sister Adrian von Lichtenberg who is here and I didn't see it uh, um, because I was on the other view. I got to get back to this view. Paula is here. Oh and I guess that's it from my guests and I am greatly appreciative of their support, their lifelong support and support in every way that they've uh, that they've given me, and I, uh, I'm grateful that they're here. Um, so uh, that leaves us with, uh, I guess, my speech. Elias, you're getting another president-elect's pin. You know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so. Um, I wanted to start with the object of Rotary. In the object of Rotary, the first thing is the development of acquaintance as an opportunity for service. And that is difficult in these times. The club meetings, the face-to-face, -face, the sharing of food, all of these things are greatly missed by me and I'm sure most of you. And so we are called upon to figure out how to be more connected in these times. And Zoom meetings has done a little of that, but it still is not connecting us enough. And uh, we will have to find some ways around that. Um, this time is going to give us an opportunity to be connected in different ways. So the other thing I was going to uh, talk about in, at length was my plan for the year. When they first uh, offered the presidency to me and I accepted it, my first thought was the Peters Principle. Uh, which is a very old book, but one of the principles in the Peter's principle is that a man rises to his level of incompetence, and there he stays. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought to myself, oh dear, I'm, I'm going to find out how incompetent I am. <laughs> and then my second thought was, where can we make the most impact with our efforts and our money in both the local area and internationally. And I was mulling that over for months and months and then COVID hit. And I thought to myself, the best laid plans of mice and men so often go astray. And I have not been in the last three months, despite all the time I've had, uh, able to to make decisions about what it is we can do to, to maintain the quality of our club and our service. And so um, we're going to have a, uh, a club uh, assembly next, uh, next meeting, which is July, whatever it is, first or second, July 2nd. And we are going to uh, try to set some goals, which we're supposed to do, and formulate some areas that we want to especially involve ourselves. It's going to be difficult because of the demographics of the club. Uh, we can't get out there on the front lines. We have to find things we can do behind the scenes and things that we can do without uh, risking our lives uh, uh, to, to help. 
So it's not as simple as it has been in the past where there's a good idea and we just go ahead and, and uh, participate. Um, so I, I want all of you to put on your thinking caps on that and um, uh, be ready to express some sort of idea. I also think um, that uh, as Helmut Mack said, he's the current president of Rotary, uh, the COVID-19 crisis has forced all of us to adapt. I also believe that this is a club that can and will adapt to whatever the circumstances are and continue to do whatever we can do as we go through uh, this coming year. So we'll have that meeting and we'll talk about it. And then at the next uh, board meeting, we'll tick through the ideas and see and refine it. And then we'll get back to you because I intend as a leader to uh, do a better job of listening than I normally do and trying a better job of trying to uh, uh, get the things that the club wants to get done to get those done. So we, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm really putting it all on you to set the course and then I will try to facilitate as well as I can. Well, thank you, President and Steve. I'm not done yet, Arnie, thank you. And um, what else did I want to say? Oh, well, finally, another quote from Helmut Knack. Every great challenge is an opportunity for renewal and growth, and that should be our focus this year. OK, that's my speech. <laughs> OK, thank you again, Steve. President Steve, and yeah. now I call upon Elias Audi, past president and future president, following you as president-elect this year, to present the Paul Harris Fellows Award for those who have generously supported the Rotary Foundation. Elias? Okay, thank you. Uh, and Josh will be putting the list on the uh, on the screen. Uh, and as we go for this list, uh, thank you, Josh. Yep. Uh, first on the list is uh, George Chapman, our immediate past president. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank him for this year, uh, the year that a uh, remarkable year because we went through so much through this year and he was a perfect president for such a change in our lives. Uh, Claudia Dupree, Ken Goldstein, Joyce Graff, John Gru, Elman Henderson, Susan Reck, and Phil Sandler. All will be getting the Paul Harris uh, pin. Uh, some call it a recognition, some call it award, but this Paul Harris has been named uh, uh, for the founder of Rotary International, uh, and we call it officially the Paul Harris Fellow Recognition. And it is the highest honor Rotary can bestow on a person that receives it. Uh, the Rotary International Foundation is the largest private charitable foundation in the world, giving away over $100 million annually Paul Harris Fellow Recognition is the foundation's way of expressing its, its appreciation for a gift of $1,000 to the recipient of its humanitarian and educational program. $1,000 may not mean a lot in the US, but it can protect over 5,000 children against polio. It can provide school supplies for more than 1,200 children in Guatemala. It can give nutritional training 
to over 125 women in Thailand. It can help build a library in Kazawaki. It can provide a kitchen for a senior center or fully furnish a whole floor in St. Jude Hospital in Lebanon. It provides dozens of artificial limbs for the disabled in Calcutta or teach hundreds of kids to read in Nepal. Rotarians often designate a Paul Harris Fellow as a tribute to a person who demonstrates a shared purpose with the objectives of Rotary Foundation. Our recipients today who are all uh, Rotarians and belong to our Rotary Club of Brookline will join a remarkable company of persons worldwide who have, who have been recognized for their devotion to the ideal of goodwill, peace, and understanding. So now, please accept our congratulations and sincere thanks for all of you Rotarians for your commitments to our common goals of word, understanding, and peace. And thank you and congratulations. Good, good luck. Thank you, President-elect Elias Audi. And now I call upon Susan Rack to acknowledge the social committee. All right, uh, acknowledge the social committee. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the social committee can't stand not having a voice. Uh, normally in installation, our role is to arrange for the luncheon and the decorations. Because we could not do that this year, we didn't want to be underrepresented. So, um, Steve, uh, first to George. Um, George, um, we know that we did not want to spend a lot of money this year on gifts, but we had to at least acknowledge um, our outgoing president and our incoming president with at least a token. And so we decided to put our money, what little it was, and it was little, um, where our mouth has been in support of local businesses. So we have taken two businesses that have been longtime supporters of uh, Brookline Rotary's Pancake Breakfast by constantly and continuously making a donation to us. So George, here is a little token of our thank you. You were the very, very right man for a very difficult year. Thank you. So this is to George and you can, George, the other side, the other side. <laughs> there you go. Be careful with it, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, Steve, likewise, with the press of a button, I am sending to you a little token for you and Michelle um, to thank you, uh, a little gift certificate for one of our local restaurants. It will be coming to you online, and it is one of the restaurants that has been uh, a tremendous supporter of us. Um, we thank George for his service and Steve, we know that you will continue to provide us with some wonderful, wonderful leadership. Thank you both. Thank you so much for your generosity. Um, and I, I, I really want to support Steve and whatever I can do for, uh, for this year to make it easier. Uh, and um, I appreciate all the welcome from the Rotarian. Michelle, you are now first lady. <laughs> I did not know there was such a thing. Oh my goodness. Yes, you're first lady of the Rotary Club of Brookline. Add it to your resume. <laughs> and we are expecting nothing less than the previous Michelle first lady. Yeah. <laughs> Big shoes to fill. <laughs> well, I well each, each individuals are unique, so I think you'll get this, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Susan, for all you do. Yeah. And uh, 
now uh, we will have Bo uh, Whitaker play some music and um, we can socialize a little bit. Uh, George, I want to thank you uh, for all you did for us this year. And Steve, congratulations and uh, good luck uh, this year. I know it's going to be a great year. Uh, Ken, I, I'm so sorry for your loss. And um, Shirley, I want to just say one thing about Red. We came in together in 1978. Uh, we joined Rotary of uh, the same time. Uh, my brother and, and uh, Red. Red was um, was an amazing human being and uh, rest in peace. Uh, I, I also want to uh, thank Joyce. Uh, Joyce has been such an integral part of this club for so long and continues to be. Thank you, Joyce, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. to end the musical part of, the, part of this program today with when the saints go marching in and you're all welcome to march wherever you are to the saints go marching in. <laughs> saints go marching in oh when the saints go marching in how i want to be in that number when the saints begin to ring <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. Congratulations. Well, it was thank a great you meeting. so much. You're welcome. Thanks, for everyone. Your expertise and your, you set the tone for the meeting. Oh, uh, thank, thank you. It was great. All right. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank, thank, everyone. thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye.